What's going on YouTube? It's me here again for another one of these freaking vlogs of mine. Got up at about 10. It is currently, I don't know what the frick time it is. It's currently noon. I've been up for about two hours. Had myself a coffee, you know. Had a whole bunch of messages on Facebook. See, I don't know if a lot of you are aware of this, but right now it seems like in Ontario there's a salt shortage. Like, not like, you know, the salt you put on your in your soup and steak and stuff. I mean, a salt for like road salt to melt the ice and clear your porches and you know, so your property isn't an insurance claim. I never personally buy this shit, whatever, but a lot of people use it rather than shovel because it's just more convenient. Throw it down, let it melt the ice, water goes away, life is okay. I, however, just get out there and scrape the shit out of the driveway and deal, but I should have bought some for the end of the driveway because uh, that would have been a great way to break that down. Just throw some salt onto it, let it dissolve the ice, get out there with a scraper and chuck it, you know, but. When I went to buy some salt on Thursday, the grocery store that I went to to uh, get some provisions, some steaks and stuff, uh, they didn't have any in stock. So I was like, oh, I'll call around, called Home Repo. They didn't have salt. Called Cambodian Tire. They didn't have salt. Walmart didn't have salt. The Mike's Mart around the corner from me, like a little corner store, didn't have salt. Nobody had salt. My friend, who actually, she lives down in Guelph, they're having the same problem there. She went everywhere. She actually called Home Depot one day while she was at work and requested that they put a bag of salt on standby for her because she was going to be over after work. She called at three. She's off at five, two hours. Can you throw a couple bags of salt aside for me? They said, sure. She gets there. I'm sorry, ma'am. We ended up selling the two bags we put aside for you because it was high demand. Well, of course it's high demand. There's none around. So she, she messaged me today and said, I finally found some salt. They finally restocked Home Depot. And I was like, right on. Like, that's awesome. But, you know, I've lived here for 12 years, 13 this, uh, this August. And I've never once purchased salt for my terrain. Like, like dad, uh, he wanted some for his deck, but when you're putting salt on a wooden surface, you got to use the green salt, not the white salt, because the white salt will damage the wood. The green salt will not. Something about the acidity in the salt. Same with um, if you're going to use it on the roof. Uh, apparently you can buy a contraption that's like a cannon and or like a super soaker if you will but it throws salt so what you can do is you can spray your roof down and it works great for roofs that don't have quite the peak onto them like my neighbors but for my roof well do the flash freeze this is usually in the winter I don't have that much snow on there and there isn't that much snow on there right now even like it's bad but it's not that bad uh, it just looks bad but it's actually I ate. but you need the green salt for the shingles because otherwise the white salt will damage your property and holy crap i just realized something coming upstairs with that coffee oh my god i got the farts but i gotta piss like a racehorse do racehorses like have better piss than farm horses yeah something i want to do today is get outside and assault the uh huh, assault assault the driveway just talked about road salt and all that but yeah apparently they have uh they've called for a, a road salt shortage not just for like picking up at like you know walmart or home repo but apparently the city stores are depleted too like they got nothing to spray on on the roads break it up because they were stupid a couple times this year and i never understood this we had some pretty heavy snowfalls the salter truck went out first and laid down salt and then like 20 minutes later the plow truck came by and pushed all the salt to the side of the road wouldn't it have been smarter to roll the plow truck first and then send the salter out like doesn't that like the salt just work in the top layer that's already fluffy and soft that's just going to get pushed to the side of the road and all the salt's going to go on the side of the road that makes no sense there's a couple incidents this year where that happened i don't know logic's not there anyway i got a coffee to drink and some breaking bad to watch because coffee makes the world go round so i'm gonna make another round of coffee it's my face <laughs> There you go. Oh, I don't know what, like, it must have been all that high carbed beer that I had on friggin' Friday, because I got the farts like no other. Because, see, at the pool hall on Friday, um, I was drinking, it's a local brewed beer called Bear Runner Blonde. We mentioned it in the video, but I was pretty tanked when I mentioned it. And it's actually brewed here in North Bay, and it's really good. 
It's just not low carb beer like Michelob's or Slamin 2.0 or PC Low Carb. So it's about 11 grams of carbs per beer, probably more. And I had a lot of it. My buddy had a lot of it. And ever since then, my arsehole has been the brass section of an orchestra. So that's a thing. Well guys, so far today, I'm on my third cup of kapafi. I got a rock of pay. Man, focus, come on. I saw this uh, GoPro rig on uh, on like a GoFundMe crowdfunding site, which was pretty freaking cool, I gotta say. Uh, it's a backpack. You put, you put it on your back and then you got this like pole that you can extend off your back and do like this whole like no Grand Theft Auto, how the camera's following from behind, you see third person. Well, you have the camera behind you and up aimed kind of down and it gives you a third person shot of you walking around doing stuff. And I got the thinking that this camera stays blurry for a while. No, I got to thinking how easy it would be to build something similar to that that I could wear on my back like when I'm out lawn mowing or out uh, snow blowing or something to give that shot because let's face it that would be a pretty sick shot and it would actually feel like a video game you go out for a walk or for a i don't really do much hiking in the woods because around here you got to be careful especially in the spring with the bears because they're hungry and they'll see you as like a walking talking pork chop and i really don't feel like tangling with a bear yet or ever for that matter so you gotta apply a little bit of caution in the woods but no i'm just thinking like it would be kind of sweet to have an outrig like that just to get the shot because honestly i'm not sure how to get some shots that i want to get and i got an idea up here and the only way i could do it is if i had somebody else holding the camera like it was kind of cool at pool that night when uh when joss picked up the camera and started shooting because it gave you a whole different aspect of what was going on and I wasn't holding the camera. So I don't know, I, I just, I see other vloggers out there that actually have a dedicated camera operator running the behind the scenes on the, on the old film grabber. It just gives a whole new dimension to the video. Like you're watching a sitcom or you're watching a television show versus watching someone talking to a camera. But to hire a camera operator, yeah, the money ain't there. So that's when you gotta be creative and figure out how are you gonna get the shot and then get that damn shot. Still procrastinating, I'm gonna go make another coffee. Today is gonna be the coffee vlog where I just make a boatload of coffee and down the hatch the living shit out of them. Because that's what I wanna do today, it's my face. That was a good one. Mouth face. Mouth face. Want some coffee? Want some coffee? No, love coffee, because you're a mouth face. Mouth face. What was that? She's such a weirdo. She's cute, though. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Oh, yes, yeah, you love the bum scratchers. Yes, you do. See, Mal. Good girl. I don't even know how cold it is out right now. How cold is it outside? In North Bay right now, it's three degrees. Oh, huh. Guys, that's not Fahrenheit. That's three degrees Celsius. That's like... The current temperature in North Bay is 37 degrees Fahrenheit. By the way, you can up. say Stop. always use Fahrenheit Stop. for weather. No, we're not doing that kind, okay? My goodness, just goes on. By the way, you can do this and that and this and that. How about just answer my question and quit offering stuff? Like, what's wrong with you, Google? Bigger... I'm sorry. Make it sound like I'm all upset and I just don't even care. But no, I've been doing that a lot lately where I'll be like, Hey, uh, what's the distance of this place? But in miles because somebody on Facebook will ask me, and then it'll be like, just to let you know, if you want to change your metric to miles, just say so in the setting. It's like, I already know this bitch. Like I'm in the settings all the time, trying to see what new upgrades you guys are adding. You don't need to tell me this nonsense. I figured it out a long time ago. <clears throat> what do you see outside? <laughs> what do you see outside, Malface? Is something out there? Any Blue Jays? Yeah, any Blue Jays though? No Blue Jays? She likes to sit in the window because the Blue Jays come in and they attack this tree right here. Like they just kind of perch on it and stuff. And then she, she gets this machine gun. So she's like, ah, 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 ah. 
<laughs> and it's like I can't even replicate the sound. But like, like she wants to go out there and do something, but she's only about two times bigger than a blue jay. So like, what, what's she gonna do? Probably not a lot. Like she's afraid of a mouse. Quit trying to pretend like you're tough just because there's like a, a window blocking. Yeah, I told him you're afraid of a mouse. What do you think of that? Hmm? What do you think of being afraid of a mouse? Gonna eat your kibble? Yeah, you be you, boo. I swear, man. Oh, freak sakes, focus, you son of a... Funny at work, like, three guys at work all have Keurigs on their desk. I have a Keurig here. I have an older Keurig over there. And they all have that same I just had Taco Bell finisher sound to them. Man, at this rate, I should have just made a pot of coffee. But I didn't, so whatever. Anyway, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I should get out there and attack that driveway. And the reason why I haven't is because I haven't worn socks since I managed to peel those socks off yesterday. And the reason being is because my foot is pretty mangled, but now it's finally cauterized and not leaking blood everywhere. And I'm worried that if I put socks on and get out there and start working the driveway, that I'm gonna rip something open again. And fun times. Now I do have those big square band-aids I could probably throw on there and solve the problem. But like, it's not too bad out there right now. I don't know. Right now I gotta piss and make a coffee. Oh man. So this really weird thing happened yesterday. Okay, you guys remember the video meal prep when I went to uh, friggin' Freshco to buy stuff to make my lunches so I didn't spend 10 bucks a day on salad. Instead, I spent like $2 a day on, on a meal. Okay, well. Pooping? Like, that's the weirdest stance I've ever seen him take to poop. Speaking of pooping, I got the farts today like no other. It's a good thing I'm not going out because I can't control my bum trumpet. But no, back on the topic. When I bought the stuff for meal prep last time, it came out to about 25 bucks because I bought some extra shite. I bought, uh, well, the chicken to make, the chicken broccoli, cauli, whatever. Chicken broccoli cauli, we'll call it. Cauliflower chicken and broccoli. The, uh, some people call it crack slaw, but I didn't use any cabbage, so whatevs. Oh, I think the poop stuck to his bum. I have no idea where it is. Go, go. Man, my dog just had a ghost poop. It's not stuck to his bum, and it's not on the snow outside. I have no idea where it went. But anyway, that cost me $25 roughly, because, well, $24.97. Because the lady at the time said, oh, don't worry, there's, uh, there's $25.03 left in the cart. Well, last night I went out and I bought the uh, the chicken for the week. That was 10 bucks, And I bought some other stuff. That came up to about, that was just about $24. And I'm like, well, there's about $25 left on this card. So use that and I'll pay the rest in cash if I have to. Well, she runs the card and comes back and says, you have $32 remaining on the card. And I was like, what? How's that possible? And she's like, well, that's what the machine says. And I was like, okay, well, hey, machine says it. Machines don't lie, right? So I'm thinking something happened the first time I went, when I submitted the card, something didn't go right. And I literally got that entire meal for free. So next time I go in to do shopping there, I'm gonna use the card again, obviously. And we'll see how that plays out. Because I have no idea how the hell there was that much money on the card. Cause mom and dad bought me a $50 Freshco and a $50 food, uh, food basics card. I already spent $50 for, uh, food basics and I used 25 of the Freshco one last time I did meal prep. So I have no idea what the heck is going on here. All right guys, switching it up to the GoPro because it's freaking raining out and we're gonna head outside and we're going to clear the end of the driveway. I'm gonna leave all the snow on the truck and the reason for that is basically I need to clean the lens on this GoPro because she is filthy from the last time I used it. Guys, just thought of the coolest coolest thing. Check out how I clean the lens on the GoPro. First, we get you underneath the sink faucet. Then we grab the old tea towel here and give you guys a little wipe down. Of course, the mics are probably just covered in water. Huh, how to clean a GoPro. So even though it's not cold outside, I'm still putting on the shit kickers just because they got tread on them. Okay. Muffins. Muffins. All right. Let's 
so we're having a great big melt right now. Grab this black shovel. Oh, okay, he did crap over here. Good. Currently raining out pretty good right now. I'm gonna sit you guys right here on the bumper. Let's get it. Oh, hey guys, oh, I'm wearing a large vlogging life shirt. Look at me go. Just got done doing a little bit of driveway cleanup as you saw. And now it's snowing out in great big globby flakes. It was st it started to snow while I was out there, but who's a kitten? Are you a kitten? Hey, mouthpiece. You meowed already. Like, I give up. Anyway, I put some sausages in, but yeah, I don't know how well this is going to come on camera. But there's some massive flakes of shit coming down right now. Yeah. Guess the kids will get another snow day tomorrow. Because, well, that's how this shitty city runs. Anyway, like I said, I made some sausages for dinner. And it looks like they kind of got a little burnt. That's okay. I'll eat them anyway. Love meat. Hashtag love meat. Hey, okay. hashtag carnivore. But yeah, they, they got a little bit scorched. Oh yeah, take a look at the sausage with the vlogging life in the background. Huh, I'm gonna drop them in my face. Alrighty guys, it's about, I'm gonna say 7.30. I had 7.25. See, I could tell what time it was because where the sun is. The fact that I can't see the sun means I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Just go with it. Anyway, I'm gonna let Stupid out. See, he knows his name. I'm like, I'm gonna let Stupid out. He's like, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. And then I'm gonna go rock a piss, cause holy. I don't wanna see what's going on with the snow situation out here. That's not too bad. It's not too bad indeed. Anyway, I'm gonna go rock a piss. I'm just waiting for Stupid. Hey Oreo, you wanna come back inside? Hey, you wanna come back inside? What are you doing? Where are you going? Stay off of the snow bank. Hey! Oh man, he is so, such a glutton for puncher. Get in here. Such a glutton for punishment, you know that, right? Just like freaking goes up into the snow banks and stuff. Such a little turd. You ever notice when Pomeranians walk, their front elbows don't bend? They just kind of like lift their arms up and slap them down like... Freaking weird creatures. Anyway, tomorrow is back to work day. Yay, hooray. Not really. <laughs> Came to the sad realization that uh, we're under a month till my birthday, where I become 40 years old. Yay. Well guys, I'm gonna shut the vlog down here for tonight because there's nothing else going on. I did what I wanted to do today and that was clear the end of the driveway even though we're getting more freaking snow. Lovely jubbly, but whatever. Thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, oh down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.